Hi everyone, it's your boy Grim Fury. And as you can tell by the title of the video, um, <clears throat> this is about uh, what you could expect from overindulging. <laughs> and I use that term because you can't overdose on, on marijuana. It's just not something that can happen. You can overindulge, certainly. <laughs> and I do it. <clears throat> well, I kind of have to because my tolerance is super high. And just to let you know, I am completely stoned right now while I'm doing this video. Because, who knows, maybe one of the things I'm going to uh, talk about may happen. It probably won't, but you just never know. So, I will be partaking while I am talking. Now I got one of the few times <coughs> oh, one of the few times when I get a full buzzing from head to toe. It's pretty mild, but it is very, very enjoyable. And it will end very quickly if I move. I can talk. I mean, I could open my eyes if I wanted to, but I'm trying to enjoy the sensation since I don't get to have this um, on the regular. <laughs> It's gone. Uh -huh. Told you that kind of stuff doesn't last. But yeah, that's uh, one of the things that I get from it is just you know I do get some of the the body, you know, the body high, but it doesn't last. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> the. Uh, I mean, this is um, this is what you could possibly expect, um, or could possibly experience past the cannabis shakes, because my first video that I did <clears throat> on this subject was about the cannabis shakes, and um, at the time of this recording, it's gotten I think like about twelve hundred views, and I've gotten several thank yous in the comments um, for making this video and it's because it's the only one out there because when it happened to me for the first time it freaked me out <clears throat> and I wanted to see if there was any videos out there and there there wasn't so at the time of this recording uh, mine is the only one out there <clears throat> So if you hadn't, if you haven't seen the video about uh, the cannabis shakes, um, give it a look. Um, you can either find it in my uh, video listing, <clears throat> or um, you should be able to just type cannabis shakes in the search and be able to find uh, my video that way. But anyways, let's back. Let's get back to it. Um, the first thing that, uh, well, let me, let me also say that every person is different. There are 
well over 2,000, probably well over 3,000 different strains um, out there. And uh, with that in mind, um, you, you know, not every person is going to experience these things that I do. And there are, I'm certain, um, th things out there that <clears throat> other people experience that I will never get to. Like, I don't get to trip out on anything. That doesn't happen. <laughs> I don't get the euphoria. That doesn't happen. So. But I do get other um, experiences. <laughs> for lack of a better word. Um, from as much as I, as I ingest. And this is my primary way of doing it is vaping it just because flour doesn't work <clears throat> and I can and these are pretty cheap for me well they're pretty cheap not pretty cheap for me <clears throat> anyways I'm rambling that's one of the things you do <laughs> is ramble but anyways um, one of the first things that um, I noticed that I would get past the cannabis shakes, which I had not gotten uh, in a long time. The beginning ones, I get them much later. <clears throat> so that's something to look forward to. But, <laughs> um, but the first thing that I get is uh, mild paranoia. And I don't mean like, oh, people are watching me or they're out to get me. It's just kind of a, <clears throat> I don't know, it's just, just an overall kind of weird, just kind of paranoia sense. Me, I was really paranoid about get make you know, about bills getting paid. And I was dealing with some financial problems um, at the time. So that's what my paranoia was uh, focusing on. I haven't had it lately, so I don't know what it would be focusing on. But, <clears throat> uh, like I said, I don't always get that. So that obviously is going to be different for each person um, that gets it because it's going to use a different situation, you know. But, so that's a possibility. Uh, you know, <clears throat> I guess you could get, you know, bursts of, um, excuse me, uh, bursts of, you know, I don't know, numbness. I don't know how else to put it, you know, from like a, like a coughing fit or, or something like that how I got, you know, that little bit of euphoria, you know, it would probably hit you maybe in a wave because you would probably already be, have the, have the body high going. So that would just be something on top of it. Uh, what's next? What's next? <laughs> the memory thing we all deal with, don't we? Um, what was it? <laughs> Bear with me. I'll get it. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> it, um, it usually happens uh, for me, obviously, um, right after, right at the end of a big coughing fit. And and at least I know I do, and most people, when they cough, their eyes are closed. Uh, so once I get done with that and I go to open my eyes, everything is really, really foggy and fuzzy. And <clears throat> I'm overcome with confusion. Um, 
I mean, I, I still like, I, I know who I am. I know I'm in my apartment. I know I'm in my chair. But usually when I'm, when I'm doing this and this, usually when this happens, I'm say like playing a video game. Um, <clears throat> I'll have the controller in my hand, but I don't know what game I'm playing, where I'm at in the game, what my character even is, you know, like what I was doing, what quest, nothing. Just it just it's completely gone until my vision uh, returns and then I can actually see. <coughs> and that like um, any of these other experiences that I have are very short lived uh, they last about about 15-20 seconds and <coughs> I must say that um, that can be quite scary um, just because like I said you, like if you're playing playing a game you don't know you don't know anything about it you, you'll be sitting here I know I was playing a game and <clears throat> that confusion in that time is you can't get past it I mean you can't you know, break through. You you have to ride it out, and it's not going to take. You know, it's not going to take that long. I mean, it's scary. You know, I will admit. Uh, for anyone that's not prepared for it, and even if um, even if you're expecting it, it's it's still unsettling. But I mean, I know what it is. But still, it's it's unsettling. But, <laughs> like I said, for someone that's not expecting it, and it happens to them their first time, it, it can be terrifying. So, <clears throat> keep that in mind for those of you that haven't had it. You know, that's something that uh, you could experience. And while I'm thinking about it... <clears throat> um. If there's anything that you guys experience that I haven't mentioned, um, you know, let me know down in the comments. I I'd like to know, you know, what I'm missing, because <laughs> who knows? Maybe someday somehow I could take a tolerance break, but I doubt it because I use it for the pain in my hands and my shoulders and elbows. <clears throat> so I can't really take a tolerance break. But, anyways, <laughs> uh, back to that, uh, or back to business. Uh, let's take another hit first. Body high again. <coughs> <coughs> All right, anyways. <coughs> oh. Oh. Lost my train of thought that kind of falls in with the confusion a little bit. Oh, right, right, right. After that, uh, the next thing that I experienced is the most drastic, I would say. And uh, drastic is probably too drastic of a term. But I experience 
uh, full um, audio and visual hallucinations. <coughs> oh, um, I'll give you the only example uh, that I can remember. Um, I can remember of one thing I'll, I'll say is you don't feel the hallucination coming on. It just it's kind of like when you take the hit and that numbness kind of, you know, the wave kind of comes in. That's what it does. It rides the wave in and just sneaks it, sneaks in, sneaks up in on you. <clears throat> it, it sneaks up on you. And you're in the hallucination. And, uh, like I said, um, mine. The, the only part I remember is I was in a. I was standing in a room. Uh, in a house I was uh, that I've never been in before. There was several people in this room. Um, all adults. I didn't recognize a single one of them. And there was <clears throat> a man and a woman. Probably, I don't know, maybe six to ten feet in front of me. And they were talking about something. They were, they were, they were having a discussion. They were having, I don't want to say serious, but, you know, they were, you know, I don't know. They weren't having just a, a light-hearted conversation. You know, conversation. They were having, you know, a discussion. <clears throat> but you know, that's all I remember. I don't remember what they were talking about. Not you know, I don't even remember the sounds of their voices because, <clears throat> for me, like I said, the hallucination sneaks in, and then be before you know it, it just, I don't know, just kind of bleeds out you know or just just fades back out just as easily as it faded in and <clears throat> you're so busy thinking oh my god I just had a hallucination you know wow that was unreal you're so busy thinking about the experience itself that you're not thinking about what the hallucination was and then by time you try to think about what you actually experienced it's almost completely gone if not gone because I know I've had it like three times now and the other two I just remember that I hallucinated but zero detail <clears throat> And the only details I remember of this other one was just what I told you. So. And the last thing that um, I'll experience uh, up to this point at the time of this recording is it's kind of we uh, weird cannabis shakes. I don't know. I don't know what to call them. I really don't. Because I'll be sitting here perfectly fine, just like I am now. I'll, I'll, I'll go to my room. I'll sit on the edge of my bed. I'll smoke some more. <clears throat> get myself ready for bed. You know, perfectly fine. Lie in bed, perfectly fine. But then the moment... I, I put a cover over me, whether it's my sheet and my blanket or just a sheet. As long as I cover myself with something, I start getting, I mean, I get the cannabis shakes, but it's not sh shaking, it's jerking. My arms and my legs will jerk. And then I take the covers off of me and, I, you know, I'll just, I'll get up because now my body is... 
uncomfortable. But it'll, you know, it stops. I could go sit down and I'd be perfectly fine. I could walk around. I'd be perfectly fine. I can go lay back down in bed and be perfectly fine until I cover myself up. And then it'll do it again. So, <clears throat> but, I mean, up to this point, that's it. That's, that's all I know. That's all I've experienced. And, um, so I wanted to share that. I mean, like I said earlier, there's basically no videos out there about the stuff that I could find. So I want to make it, you know, something of something out there that somebody, you know, that could could possibly help someone. I know I've had several, like I said, I've had several comments on my cannabis shakes video that a lot of people have thanked me for making it and <clears throat> I've replied to every every comment. Just because this, you know, at the time of this, my my channel is still tiny, so I'm able to reply to every comment, and I would still like to be able to do that as long as possible. But anyways, all the comments are, you know, they thank me because they said they were freaking out. They didn't know what it was, and my video helped them. So hopefully, this video will do the same thing. So. That's going to do it. Um, I don't know when I'll make another video and what it'll be about. So, I guess... <clears throat> I guess the only thing to say is I'll see you when I'll see you guys. <laughs> Bye.